guys welcome back to looks by lena so today i am bringing on a guest and that's my sister sierra hello so we are gonna do a different look on her a more natural but bold dramatic look she doesn't really wear makeup so this will be exciting all right we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so i'm gonna go on using the even better foundation from clinique in alabaster All right, so look at me, let me see, pull this out. All Cute. All right, so we're gonna go right to the eyes and we're gonna come back and do a little bit of a contour and some blush at the end. So I'm using the Tardius Pro Tarte Palette Looks like this, so really pretty. I'm gonna go on using the no filter. It's like this. I'm gonna put it right towards the end here. All right, so now I'm gonna take some concealer using the Effersern's Waterproof from Longcomb. I'm using shade 110 Ivory. You just need a very small amount. And I'm gonna go on with a flat shadow brush. Dip that into the concealer. And I'm gonna go right over the lid. So I don't want to go on too heavy with the shadow with her because she's not an everyday makeup wearer. So if you go on too heavy right away, you're going to kind of be in shock and it's just going to be too much for you where you're not going to feel confident or comfortable. So start out with a little and work your way up to the top. Okay, so I'm going to take that first brush and I'm going to go towards the top here, the eyelid and just blend it out. And I'm gonna go on using the bold here. It's more of like a nude shade. And I'm gonna go right on the lid. So now I'm using Glam in the shimmer. 
and I'm gonna use my ring finger and just dab that onto her lid. If you get any on the bottom, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna shape the eye up with some concealer. All right, so I like to go back and blend with the first shade. So that was the no filter. So not a whole lot. Don't submerge the brush into the powder shadow. Just dab it and then go on. All right, so now I'm gonna Fix her up with some concealer. Look up for me. And you can clean up the side of the eye too. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Both sides are even. Wait for me to just... All right, good. All right, so now I'm gonna take my favorite smudging brush and I'm gonna go on using Fierce. It's right next to No Filter. up for me. I'm going to go on the waterline here. So you just want to stay towards the outside and sweep it up. You don't want a whole lot. You don't want it to look really dark. a pointier shadow brush and I'm just gonna dab the glam and I'm gonna put some in the corner here Shadow is done. Okay, so now we're gonna do some mascara using the Clinique High Impact in black. contour and I'm going to use the Ofra in the bronzer Americano and I'm going to use my 
contour brush. Blend it out. So cheekbones, forehead, around the hairline, bring it lightly into the jawline. Do the chin. And then we're gonna do her nose. So I like this brush because it has a point on it. So I don't have to swap brushes to do the thinner areas, like the nose. So, back to your foundation brush to just go over and blend out those contour lines. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush to her. And I'm using the Ginger Pop from Cheek Pop Clinique. I love this blush because it looks really natural. And in previous videos, you've seen me use it a lot. And then I just like to blend it a little bit with my foundation brush. All right, so now we are gonna highlight her using the Estate Highlighter in Doomy, and the color is Bye. So we want to highlight the top of the cheekbone here above the apple of the cheek where you put your blush. I like to bring it in pretty far right here. And I like to do the temple area and a little bit into the forehead. It just makes the skin look really glowy. All right, and then I do a little dab in the center of the forehead. Not a whole lot, just a little. And then we wanna swoop it down the center of our nose and do a little on the tip here. And then I like to do just a tiny bit at the cupid's bow. <laughs> All right. So her eyes and her face is done and now we're just going to do a little bit of lip oil because she likes that more natural look. And since she has some of that highlight in the cupid's bow, it's really going to enhance the upper lip. All right, guys, she's done. What do we think? Natural, but a little bit of glam. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye.